Hi, good morning. Julie here from Ballet Bar. How are you this morning? Um, I just wanted to come on today and talk to you about a lemon lime blend. Is that around the wrong way? Okay, maybe. Um, this is a really special blend that um, I'm going to tell you about it today because there's a there's a really cool offer on at the moment just until the 15th, which I think is Tuesday, um, and you can get that one free with any of our essential essential oil. Uh, sets, but I'm not going to go on about that now. I'm here to talk to you about lemon and lime um, But if you're interested in knowing more about that just pop pop your um, Write lemon or lime or something like that in the comments, and I will let you know the details so um, Lime and lemon a great duo, you know nutritionally speaking when um, when you're looking at a lime and a lemon They're pretty much the same um, But in the terms of essential oils not so much so um, the citrus and the vitamin C in a lemon or a lime comes from the juice. Um, the essential oils are drawn from the skin, so they actually do not have um, any vitamin C in them as such. So people who are dropping it into water and drinking it, um, in terms of getting vitamin C, you know, that, that's not going to be useful for you. Nor is it going to give you a, an acid stomach, you know, in terms of weight loss and stuff like that. Um, that's actually not going to help um, because the vitamin C in lemons is in the juice, not in the not in the skin. It will, however, aid with digestion, and we're talking about lemon. Lemon has a positive effect on digestion. So let's talk about lemon first. Lemon essential oil, um, and what's really interesting is that while those two are very very similar nutritionally, they are, they are not at all the same for um, essential oil. Lemon essential oil is essentially your happy pill. It's like a mental reset. Um, it's really good for those days where you just feel a bit irritable, a bit grumpy, um, you just feel lethargic, and um, you need to go out and do stuff. So lemon's like your mental kick start, if you like. Um, it's just, it provokes happy thoughts. It's positively indicated for digestion. And when we have positive digestion, we do tend to also feel much, much happier in general. So, hey, that's lemon. Lemon has a positive effect on respiratory um, health. So if you feel like you've got a cold coming on, or in fact you have got a cold, you'll get positive antibacterial um, protection from lemon essential oil, and of course from the juice with the antioxidant properties of vitamin C. Moving on to lime. Now these two oils are really, really useful when used together. Um, and all of the citrus oils will give you that sort of happy, uplifting um, feeling. Lime, in particular, is indicated for assertiveness. And when I say assertiveness, I mean on those days where you've got a meeting or you've got something that you need to get done and you are just feeling a bit, you know, kind of low. Um, and you're especially good for those meetings where you think people are going to trample you. Been to plenty of those meetings. Lime is your go-to. It gives you that, yes, I can do this feeling and will lift you up so that you can go forward, you know, positively with that positive spirit. spirit. Lime is also really useful um, for people with short-term memory concerns. So really good for um, older people. It boosts alertness generally. Um, but it's really, really good for those days where you just, you know, walk into the kitchen and you're like, well, what should I come in here for? Um, yeah, lime is your go-to if that happens to you a lot. Combined with lemon, you'll get all of that um, focus and, um, and um, clarity of thinking along with the alertness and focus and concentration that lemon allows you to get. So they do work in tandem and they do do different things. Lime is also used in massage therapy where, um, where fluid retention is one of the objectives of the massage treatment and it functions as a diuretic. So as such, if you are trying to lose weight, it's actually better to put the lime, uh, go for lime rather than lemon and put it in your diffuser rather than drinking it. Lime also has antibacterial effects on the body. Um, and let me just explain that just a little bit because um, the, um, the physiological impact of essential oils is something that is, it's, it's kind of complicated, but um, the olfactory system um, is the sense of smell. And essential oils are designed to go through the olfactory system into the brain, into the nimbus section of the brain. That's where emotions and memories are, are, are controlled, I guess, or regulated. Um, 
that area of the brain is closely interconnected with the um, central nervous system. So when I say it has a physiological effect on your body, it, it actually really does. Um, and this has been scientifically proven many times over. In fact, scientists have tried to prove or disprove the effect of smells on the human body, um, but unsuccessfully. So this is really cool. And I, and I know from personal use that um, using these, these different oils and, and blends as combinations, it really is awesome. It's the power. So if you're keen to try lemon and lime, just drop me a note in the comments. I'll send you the details. Um, this one can't be bought by itself. It's um, it's only available with this offer and it's only available to a Tuesday. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed learning about lemon and lime. Um, and yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. See ya.